How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the KCS YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're going to be doing about two things. We're going to be starting off with an oil change on the 7th gen, uh, and then we're going to go to the track. Um, let's do three things. The third thing is we're going to be starting, we're going to harass Aiden. We're going to go to his house. He's on the way to the track, and we got to go film the track day. We're just going to do a little practice day, do some test and tune, uh, looking more for the suspension side uh, of the car, because we got the coilovers on. We'll explain that later when we get to the track. But the reason we're going to be harassing Aiden is because his white Del Sol, one of the staples of the channel, pretty much the equivalent of the red hatch for Boosted Boys. That's one of the cars. We got this thing, the, uh, the seventh gen, and we got his white Del Sol that started the channel. Uh, we have other projects that we want to do and everything, uh, but those are the ones that take the most time, especially this thing has been on the channel, as you guys know, for a long time. He's been almost retiring that car for like two years. It's been, uh, it's been slacking on the channel. So he's been working on it. We got some rad support stuff, some rad stuff. Um, it's got a new, tur no, it's got a new motor that never ran. He had his injectors, a bunch of stuff that hasn't been on the channel yet. So we're gonna go harass him to get it going um, and then pick him up. We're gonna go in the truck together, go film the track day, the little testing tune for the seventh gen, uh, focusing on suspension. So we're gonna start with that oil change. I got my little setup here. I uh, got the tripod, got the uh, pack out. We're literally going to be using like two tools out of there. Jack is right there. And the oil. I've had this sitting for like two months. This is not usually the brand that I use, but it's just some, uh, we're gonna be giving away a secret here, like a uh, economy secret. If you guys want to race cheap on E85 diesel truck oil, that stuff works really good. It's been like two, three years I've been running it in my car. E85 breaks down uh, oil quicker because you're using 30 to 40% more fuel. Um, so what I stock on a K20, usually you're in the 5W30 oil. I use 1540, it's thicker, it breaks down and like, let's say it gets to the equivalent of what's supposed to be in the car and I change it often. So like one track day, I go with new oil, I come back, it's changed or two, three uh, street pulls, or like street nights going out to the meets or whatever, two, three of those, oil's changed. So frequent oil changes uh, and your motor will last a long time. You guys know this thing's been held wide open for a long time. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the oil change, get some tires swapped to the slicks, the race tires or race wheels and get this thing on the trailer. Um, and then we'll head to Aiden's, give him a, uh, harassment. So, uh, let's get this on the tripod and I'll just film a little quick shot of the oil change. All right. So we're arriving at Mr. Aladdin's house. What I need to do now is figure out a way to park. And then we go harass him. There he is right there. Mr. Aiden. Oh, well, I'm not sure about him, but definitely he's been on the car, that's for sure. I'll have to park in the middle of the road. Let's go do some spying. Is there somebody in there? I don't know. Okay. Time to go harass him. Tell him to get his shit together. Oh, that's his girl. That's not him. I really don't think that's him. Anyway, let's go harass him and go tell him uh, he needs to get his car running. And then we'll head to the track. All right, so I walk in. And we're in the trouble section, trying to get this cable. What the hell's happening here? I don't have enough slack on my cables. I'm not sure what's going on here, but if something changed. That's the only change and that's your pro, like, yeah. that would be crazy if 3 sixteenths of an inch is what's messing you up. That'd be very tragic. It's possible. We'll figure it out and get it bolted up. But anyway, I told all the viewers that I was gonna harass you, so. Here we are. Here we are. Trying I'm to get this tell thing him. started. Yeah. Now, uh, Buddy over here was messing with his throttle cable. I'm going to show you what the hell he did. He says it's worse. I can't see too, something too bad, but he's telling me that it's worse down here. He was messing around to get this throttle. Why'd you have to cut the uh, the bracket? Long story. Oh, okay. Well, a long story, apparently. But um, he was grinding something. I'm assuming this bracket here. And uh, as you can see... The cable's frayed. He said he nicked it with the grinder, and he's telling me not to touch it too much because it's a little on the fragile side. But I have an EK uh, throttle cable at home, which he asked me while I was on the road. Hello. I wasn't texting and driving. Trust me. This um, might be the opportunity to fucking go center feed if I have to do a throttle cable. Yeah. And Got then me? if you do go center feed, you're going to need RSX, most likely. RSX, yeah. Because I still have the RSX one. Everyone was telling me it's too long. Good thing I kept it because I had trouble putting an EK one in. Jay's done it on his ES one. I don't know how he did it, but mine, I could not get it in. And I know what I'm doing, I think, and I couldn't get it in. Either way, RSX is long as hell because there's that cruise control cable. Or 
it goes to the cruise control. Anyway, the cable's like twice the length. Now it works. Is, there you go. I need to bolt down the shifter there. It's a little bit floppy, but at least it works now. Yeah. That's crazy that just that 3 16 plate for the uh, e-brake or the staging brake is what messed you up. But anyway, we're here harassing them to get this thing running. What do we have for a timeline here? Tomorrow? Tonight? Mm, get this thing, do a run, 10 second pass tonight? Next hour. You think it's going to run in the in the next hour? Like dr uh, drivable? Uh, enough to do a 30 second drive, yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be perfect. Nothing serious, but yeah. something. And um, what's the expectations for it this year? A 10 would be nice. I'd be happy with just driving the fucking yeah. thing. But like... Here comes the harassment. Uh, he's been happy with... He'd be happy with driving it for the past two years. Yeah. <laughs> just put it in short, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we got this bolted down. I gotta do a couple little things to make it good enough to just do a little drive. Yeah. At least go around the block. We have a little lap that we could yeah. do around here, so... That's all. That's my goal. I just want to do a little lap. Okay, it moved. Now we yeah. got a bunch of shit to do. So. Yeah. A lot of welding, a lot of fabrication. The intercooler stuff, the turbo stuff's not even on. Yeah, no turbo right right now, plus so. nothing. It's an NA car right now. Yep. Pure NA. Turbo, useless turbo NA is mm -hmm. what it is right now. But yeah. Okay, we'll get to it there. Let's uh, get to work and then we'll head to the track after this thing uh, hopefully does a lap around the uh, the yard. Or not the yard, the, uh, the neighborhood. So uh, let's get to work. Oh, he needs to run that thing with no bumper at the track. That's going to look too nice. Maybe get that fuel line tied up because it's not tuned whatsoever and I think his O2 sensor is bad. So it's running like absolute dog ass. It does run like shit, yes. Okay, I guess he's bringing it back in. How does that feel? Yeah. It ran like Amazing. dog shit. Now, the question is, how much boost do you think you made? Zero. Well, it ran. I'll put the hood back up. Yeah, this ain't, uh, that's not too, too mathematically correct, that hood exit. But it ran on its own power, as you guys saw. And it looks sick. Dude, from the back, woo, with no bumper. No bumper is the way to go, I'm telling you. Like, that looks awesome. Especially when he was taken off, that's awesome. My stuff looks good too with no bumper. No bumper is the way to go. It works. Very close. Well, not well, but it moves. First time in two years. You do, what do you think about the battery holder? Tibbo, so. Yeah, that's that's official. Yeah. NHRA approved for sure. Yeah, they passed that at the track. Too. Yep. Seven seconds. They actually, well, not they, maybe that, but with a strap, I've had it pass. They didn't like it, but they had it pass. Anyway, it ran on its own power. Hey, that cable made it too, with all those frays. Yeah, it worked. Yep. You guys saw it move for the first time in two years. What was rattling? What do you mean? Oh, I just heard race car. Oh, it sounded like a metal bracket loose kind of thing. Hmm. Well, it could be the rad. It could be a bunch of stuff that's not tight. Oh, and your harness was like... Dragon, yeah. Dragon these nuts, man. Like, holy fuck. I have to redo all that wiring anyway, so I don't care. Couple tire wraps and she's good to go. Oh, I gotta redo that. Yeah. Way too long. But anyway, it ran on, under its own power. You guys saw it. Mm -hmm. But um, that was less than an hour. That was literally 10 minutes ago he said an hour, so... He's doing good. <laughs> anyway, I'm telling you, there's not. He's always worried about the time. But I swear to God, we could get this thing running and back at the track in no time. We just need a couple boost couplers, put the intercooler, weld like some brackets, or make some bracketry. And a tune because that shit's running like. Yeah, we might have access to a tune and then get this man on some E85, which would be. Uh, he he won't go back. Johnny knows. Once you go to E85, you don't go back. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's gonna like it. Anyway, well, it ran under its own power, so we'll probably tinker around with it a couple more, or a little bit more, and then we'll head on to the track. So uh, we'll probably see you on the road. We'll start talking shit in the uh, truck, and uh, we'll see you there. All right, we made it to the track. Um, we're just uh, making it to the track because we're going to go see some passes, but... Getting some inspo for some builds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, we have a couple chassis, too. I mean... Into, definitely in the future. You guys know it. We're going to do something big. But, like... This has like probably 4K series in one for the displacement. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Actually, That's easily. That has to be in the eights, but like crazy oh, leader. Yeah. Leaderage. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, well, we made it. Um, we're just parked over there, as you might see. We actually had a, like a long chat with some uh, other K series guys. Uh, so we're just gonna walk up to 
the stands. Go get. There's a bunch of people there. There's an event going on. It's just like racing. Um, and then at the time trials or cruise night starts at five o'clock, so we still have just over an hour to kill. But uh, yeah, let's go see some real cars, some crazy big muscle cars. Uh, do some passes before we go. I saw that Mercedes on. Mm -mm. Not today. Yeah, <laughs> not today, brother. One, two, four. What was the sixty? Oh, look at my. I think I've done a six nine though at Icar for the uh, eighth, but seven zero, oh, ten nine at Lusco. That's not supposed to happen, yo. Mm. Woo! He told me to get out for that traction, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's G shit. Yeah, he's like, well, yeah, he's like, get out, like, go out now. Yeah. While there's still glue. Yeah. Yo, ten nine at Lusco. Yeah. I'll shut it off, I want to let it cool. Your front tires are going all over the fucking place when you shift. Like, like you, I'm concerned. It's not good. I'll show you the video. When you shift, it goes in and back out. And in, like the tires doing this the whole way down the track. It's it's pop bow. We're gonna have to figure out what the fuck's going on there. Yeah. Maybe it's the spherical shit for the for the max speeding. Because it has hey, spherical it's top hats. It looked like it was ripping, but you should check your wheel bearing. It's not that, dude. Something's. It's, the fucking we just put those just... coilovers on, and it's the whole coil that moves. It's as if on the well. I was gonna say on the ground, it doesn't move, but I guess so. The whole coil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's as if this is bad. They're brand new, and this is bad. I don't know. I don't know if spherical is the answer for drag racing. You know. I'm putting stock shit back on. I've been saying it for the past two, three hours. Actually, two, three weeks too. Yeah. Stock shit's going back on. Best. The best it's done in front wheel drive was with the stock suspension in the front. I think we found the problem. What'd well, you find, Kev? Yo, I lowered these because I had problems last week when I was out personally, personal testing. These were loose. They're loose again after they were loose this morning. I don't know what the hell's going on, but... Keep on tightening them and they keep on getting loose. Legit. And these were so expanded that I had to like bring them in. So I'm going to have to tighten these again. 1922 and 1922. <laughs> uh, Anyway, okay, well, let's tighten everything up. What I've been doing with this stuff is... We forgot the wrenches for the coilover, so... Yeah, I didn't so. the wrenches, so I made my own set. How do you impact a coilover? Come so deep. Yeah. It's stuck, man. That's oh, yeah, it's good, loose though. in the it's fucking... Loose. Everything's yeah. loose, brother. Okay, let's get a 22. All right, now that we got the suspension all uh, taken care of, all the bolts are tight, let's uh, right, go for another for pass. What do you think? Right yeah. I want to say it. We're, uh, right. we're not a big fan of a certain a certain thing. We're not going to no. say anything quite yet, but not a great experience. Oh. Fuck. Did he blow it up or did he miss you? I have thought you ever, blew it up. Have you ever seen someone money shift a, a turbo Honda and it still runs? <laughs> What'd you do, a 232? Two, or two. Really? Or two, yo. Shit. Oh, that could have been I bad. Park it over there because I'm going to, it's not that hot. Yeah. 
Let's see what the RPM was on that money Yo. shift. 11,000 RPM. 11,000 RPM, boy. <laughs> She's still okay. Woo. Yo. No way. Who built the motor? <laughs> this guy. Hey, Those valve strings probably yeah, appreciate I, 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 that. I was like, wrong gear. Get the clutch. Get in there and get the clutch. 11,000. I'm sure the clutch appreciated that. The valve springs. <laughs> the bearings. Yeah, but what bearings are you running? Junk gear. Back 195. Now... The real, the real answer will be if it starts up properly. You can have a blown up motor run and then you can't fire it up after. Hey man, 11,000. Yeah. And it didn't blow up. Fuck. I saved a money ship. <laughs> that was a close one, boys. Let's, uh, let's not do that one again. What do you think? Hey? Let's not do that one again. What do you think? All right, we're, so far we're having a decent turnout. Mr. Aladdin is here enjoying the luxury of AC. What's this man making here? We might oh. get cancelled for this. Oh okay. yeah, I, I know exactly what that is. <laughs> yep. Um, anyway, Mr. Aladdin is uh, enjoying the AC. Kyle joined us, he's here. Now, those guys right there, some Civic guys, I saw them like bringing the car back. After trying to take off, they were just pushing it back. And I was like, what's broken? And they set an axle. I'm like, what a shame. If I break, I can't get, or like I have a trailer, it doesn't matter, but they drove that thing here. So it turns out that I have an axle. So I, lent them, or I sold them the axle. They're gonna be able to get home, do some, uh, if they do passes, that's gonna be a little risky there on their last axle, cause I don't have any more. But uh, anyway, they're gonna be back on the road because of uh, me bringing extra parts. But uh, yeah, we just hit that 11,000 RPM. 11,627. I remember it very yeah. fucking clearly. Now, hopefully the car starts back up, because if it doesn't start up, that means something is wrong, but it ran perfect. Like, it was sounding like purring like a kitten, as they say. Yeah. Anyway, okay, well, we're gonna let that diff cool down because the diff is really hot in the back with those clutch packs. We should, I wanna check the oil, because it's really, really easy and cheap. I'll check the oil, see what it looks like after 10 passes or whatever. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see you in the next shot. All right, let's try and not money shift on this, uh, this pass. Let's see if we can get a clean one. <laughs> He was moving all over the place. We gotta dial in that suspension. All right, so we just did a pass. Everything was good. We roll up, open the hood, and Aiden's like, what's going on? Uh, I was like, this is in the area of the uh, oil sandwich plate, the oil line where it starts for the turbo. A bunch of oil everywhere. As you can see, the bolt there. Uh, Backed so the off. The cover popped out. So, and I was down the track. So it happened mid-track, and I know when it happened. It was after the eighth about. Uh, we have the option, so we've hit 11,000 RPM, 11,627. Yep. Uh, we lost this, we have oil all over the place. I'm gonna shut her down. This is a sign, stop. I feel my gut right now, no. Uh, Gotta trust I've it. not d felt my, or done the thing that I feel like a sign, I, it's ended bad. Not sure if that made sense, but I hope you guys understand. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna shut her down for the night. We're gonna go watch other people break this stuff. So uh, she's done, she's gonna, we're gonna check the oil, put it back on the trailer. We're done. That's it. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> yeah. You're done. <laughs> yeah. Just play it safe. Yeah, absolutely. Even interested in focusing. That thing's rowdy though. Alright, we're gonna head out from the track. We got the car all loaded up. Let's go mess around on the Del Sol in the dark. Uh, after we get some food, because we're like all starving. And then uh, we'll probably, yeah, man, gotta eat, gotta get some grub. Um, anyway, we'll get some food, Del Sol, probably end the video out there, a little outro at the Del Sol. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's head out. All right, so we've made it back to the Del Sol. Uh, we lied, it is not obviously the same night, it's way lighter out. Uh, we ended up going to get some food with uh, Kyle. Kyle joined us. Uh, instead of uh, coming back to work, we went to go eat and go to sleep. Anyway, we're at the Del Sol, we're doing some uh, stuff right now. Maybe some traction parts. So this is the traction bar, or more of the traction bar, because as you guys can see, the actual traction bar is there. Now we're gonna be putting the heim joint or the uh, the adjustable part of the traction bar on. Anyway, we're gonna end the video out there. We're, we hope you guys enjoyed, and we did not expect a money shift, and we did not expect 
saving a money shift in this episode whatsoever. So the engine's still good, ready for more passes, and all we need is a washer. So we clickbaited the hell out of you guys. We're, uh, that's probably our biggest clickbait we've done. Anyway, we're going to finish the episode out here. And uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.